Okay, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing hair texturing today. And so we're gonna show you different styles of hair. We're gonna be using a V-tool, a U-gouge, and about a three or a five uh, flat gouge to give you different types of hair, texturing of hair. And so uh, with cowboys, with Indians, with men in general, we use a V-tool to, to enhance the hair there, to give it a rough look, look like they've been out in the elements. And with women, we go in with a softer uh, look on women. Of course, we like that. We don't want the art, the women on our to look hard. Um, so we use a U gouge, and then uh, so and on Santa Claus's hair, you'll see here, like on this Santa here, we did that. Uh, we use a U gouge, and uh, in reality, we don't see uh, every single hair on our face. We see it in locks, and so. Anyway, and then here later on, I'll show you how we uh, did this particular one um, with just a number three uh, flat gouge. And so we're going to start here <clears throat> with a block of wood here, and we're going to use, uh, we've already rounded this uh, corner off here. And uh, so we're going to uh, just take a little off there and round that edge of that off. And now we're doing uh, what we call with a V-tool. And remember, when you're doing hair, don't go in straight lines. And so turn and twist uh, when you're doing hair. And I've seen a lot of carvings, and even my, a lot of my first carvings, uh, they, it looked like their hair was glued on because it was so straight. But just take your, your tool and twist and turn as you go about. And as you'll see there in the camera, that it's, it's, you can start seeing a little bit of the hair, the locks of the hair. And so then you start connecting them. And then the next thing you know, you got a whole head of hair. And again, don't, don't worry about the, uh, if some of the hairs break or whatever, that's okay. Uh, this is gonna be rough looking hair anyway on a cowboy or a hillbilly. Uh, like I said, they've been out in the elements. They've been, maybe that old cowboy has been out checking cattle or whatever. And so he's been out in the elements. So again, we just turn and twist. And this helps to bring some realism to your carving by putting hair in. And uh, so use just uh, your V-tool here, the biggest one you have there. And then I go back in with a smaller uh, V-tool and hit some of the high spots. I hope you can see that there. And that way you can kind of see the depth that it creates there by going in with something smaller. And again, we're turning and twisting. And we're creating locks of hair. And lots of hair. And so you can see there, it looks pretty ragged and rough, but that's all right. By the time you paint the hair and, and uh, put some light, uh, light paint, uh, white paint to it, you know, by dry brushing it on, if you're gonna give a salt and pepper look of the hair when you're painting, that's pretty neat too. But this will all, it, all every piece that you're carving, or every single hair, lock of hair is important and it all adds up very quickly to a nice looking carving. And like I said a few minutes ago, it does give some realism to your, um, your carving, all right? So that's how we carve um, hair on a cowboy or an Indian, anything like that there, man in general. And so now we're going to switch gears here just a second, set this over here to the side. And we're going to do uh, the hair on a woman and Again, we're, we're going to be, I, I use this, I learned this years ago from Harold Enlow, and it, especially on a small project, it's really neat. And so it's basically, we're just, we're going to twist and turn as we go, as you can see here, here's her face, and this will be her hair back here in the, in the bun back here. And so what we're going to do here is take our knife and we're going to just to kind of tweak it back and forth like that there. 
and don't go too deep. Just let the tool, and if it, if it starts to tear, stop and go the other way. And try to keep it straight on. Just walk it. You see, man, that's not cutting very good. Oh, it's cutting just fine. But see how it's bringing that hair? And it makes it look like she's combed it, pulling it straight back to her bun on the back of her head. And two, you can just keep walking it around. Keep walking it, keep walking it. All right. And it really, as you can see here in the final one, that's what was done there. And um, so you can see the difference. Um, it's just a, a, a neat way of uh, putting hair on, on, on a girl. But so now we continue on here. And as we get close to the bun, we can do the same thing. And you can just and see how that looks like it's going down toward her, the back of her neck there. That's kind of cool looking. And so again, just tweak it here and there. But put that number three straight in and just twist and twist and twist. Do some practicing on a piece of scrap or whatever you'd like. And they all add up after a while. They'll start connecting. And so what if some of that hair breaks off? We can make it grow back by carving it on. Again, hearing it twist, 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 twist. You say, well, that's probably not very good on the edge. Well, that's all right. We can resharpen it if we have to, buff it, whatever. But we're not putting a whole lot of pressure here. But we're... And you say, boy, that looks messy. Well, just wait till we get done. It really makes a nice looking carving, as you can see there in that chest piece that I'm doing. Again, don't get in a hurry. Just take your time. Just walk that, that number three gouge across that wood back and forth like a waddling duck. Starting to dig in a little bit, so let's go this way. All right. And then whenever we're um, about done, we just keep tweaking it here and there. And you may have to come in with a smaller V-tool to hit some of the areas where the number three gouge, or whatever gouge you want to use, a number you know two or whatever, small, large, whatever you can fit, depending on the size you're carving. And just, just practice on a piece of scrap uh, this technique of walking your tool across the wood and to create that illusion of hair there. Now when I get down here to the edge, now a lot of people when they're doing beards and stuff, they don't go all the way to the edge of their beard or hair. And so I'll come in with a small V-tool and just add more little hairs here toward the end of the uh, of the head here where the face would would be right up against the hair here and so we're just adding just a little hairs here and there and as you can see there hopefully that it will um, really enhance your carving and so just finish it out where you where you can't with your number three or number five or whichever size of of a uh, gouge you're using, but just remember that it uh, have fun with this. Don't don't get all hung up in the weeds here, so to speak. And and uh, you might want to come in here and just put a few more locks of hair in if that didn't clean up very well whenever you were walking across walking across there with your you get your uh, flat gouge. All right, now we can come in and 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 put in some hair here around the bun. You know, again. 
uh, as I said earlier, don't don't make straight hair if you can possibly help it. But now her hair is pretty tight in the bun, so it's it's going to be pretty uniform. So you might have a, a turn and twist here on the bun a little bit, and uh, that way you can get this uh, completed. And but just have fun creating this hair. Then the next here one after a while, we'll show you how we do a more feminine looking hair on softer look on Santa Claus's beard and things like that here a little bit. But this kind of gives you an idea of how one way to put on hair. And uh, I liked it. And um, as you can see on this piece here that she uh, is, is uh, uh, got a nice looking head of hair on her right there. And so just try it, practice it, and uh, you're not going to mess it up too bad. So, but because uh, our hair is not perfect, and uh, so anyway, so that's the way we texture hair on a lady or on a female carving. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is um, using uh, a U gouge for uh, texturing, giving it a more softer look. And whenever you're doing um, a carving, especially on a mustache, whether it's on um, Santa or, or a cowboy or whatever, always start uh, right here on the edge of your mustache and work your way around it. And uh, start there first. And then work your way up to the nose. Now I'm doing shallow cuts here because this, the light will catch everything that needs to be caught. And all carving is, is catching shadows. And you're enhancing that. That way you can have a nice looking carving here. And then we're going to come this way. And we're going to finish it out like this, weird, like this here. And again, the hair, turn, twist, don't make it all straight. Make sure that it's uh, all going in the, a good flow, good flow from there. So as you can see here, uh, we're going to try to get that up here where you can see that. But um, you can see how the hair is flowing. I like that. And uh, so then when we come down here to the actual beard part of the, where the hat kind of joins, I come in again with this U-gouge and I'm creating these little individual locks of hair. And again, when I get down here closer to the beard, um, sorry about that, we're going to turn and twist, and turn and twist, and we're coming right down and we're, we're hitting the, we're even hitting the coat. And you say, oh, no, you're just mar messing up that coat. No, you can just go back through there with your knife and clean up those little nicks. But finish out that beard and go all the way to the very edge of that beard or the hair. And uh, that will help with the realism of your carving. And so uh, as you're carving here, just make sure that you always keep that thumb in placement and a twist and turn. And choke up like you would on a ball bat. Choke up a little bit to get more control. Then when you come to this side, start twisting and turning. Twisting and turning. Turning and twisting. <laughs> now Peter Engler, when he did his Santas, he would not put in like what I'm doing, every bit of the hair. He would put just every so often and leave the rest of the, the beard alone. And because uh, that's what one day he told me, he said, we really don't see every individual hair. We just see locks of hair. So, but anyway, um, I like doing both. And if you like, you have a certain way of putting the hair on, why well, stick with it? And if you get the satisfying results that you uh, like, why well, hang right in there and and don't just same thing with the way of sharpening tools or anything. If you like the way your, the results are, then stick with it. All right, so now sometimes we have to take our knife here. So you can see here that 
the hair is uh, is coming right along and get that piece off of there and turning there you can see how he is just starting to take some shape and boy when you start painting this guy these locks of hair is really going to uh, stand out now back here to the back of the head again I try to turn and twist I don't make straight hair and uh, now it'd be a place or two you may have to go straight but just get in here and really really go at it break up all that hair back here and then turn around and come back down and come in here and just go over the same cuts again give them some depth and things like that there and so as you're as you're uh, carving here just keep in mind where that tool is going and safety first always all right so let's take our knife here and let's get rid of these uh, little curls that we've created with our with our u gouge and that way you can see how we get that cleaned up and we're just about done here showing you how to put hair in and again practice 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 and uh, you may come up with your own way of putting hair in but again study it learn about it uh, you wouldn't think of it but there's whole books out there just on how to carve hair and uh, so but it will really bring some realism to your carving um, whether it's a small piece or a full-size piece and so but always again when you get down here to this edge make sure that you're cleaning up this area where you've nicked uh, with your u gouge and clean that up really good because your paint will tell on you when you get in here and start painting make sure you're cleaning up behind you so to speak as you're finishing up your project to get ready to go to the painting station all right take this old brush here and give him a good what over get him a good once over and we'll call this pretty good for right now and so i hope that you've enjoyed this and i hope that it will be an encouragement to you and uh, as you are learning this this fun hobby of carving and this is just one aspect of it is, is it about the hair and so it just brings more again like i said realism uh, to your to your project and uh, thank you for joining us today and we hope that you will just be encouraged by this video and like us on on, the, on our channel and uh, thank you for tuning in we'll see you soon happy carving